Hello again. Welcome back. Another English class. Yo soy el, el pesado de siempre. I'm that pain in the neck, el dolor en el cuello, where you say, mm, un pesado. Many times in English we say a pain in the neck or sometimes a pain in the ass, in the posterior, okay? Well, I'm a pain in the ass or a pain in the neck, but you have to learn, okay? So sit down, be still, pay attention, and we're going to talk about something that you never get right. Nunca ciertas. I teach you every year, every day, and every day you insist on forgetting what I teach you. So listen, my job is to raise your English level. Okay? My job is not to rise your English level. Okay? My job is to raise your English level. What's the opposite? Elevar tu nivel de inglés es mi trabajo. To raise your English level. Raise. Ray. What's the first letter in the English alphabet? A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A. A. Raise. Fijaos también en la S al final. Es, se escribe raíce con S simple. Raise. My job is to raise your English level. Okay? And if I succeed, if I succeed, Succeed. Si lo logro, si tengo éxito. If I succeed, your English level will improve. Your English level will rise. Aquí no digo raise, porque es un verbo intransitivo que no puede llevar un complemento directo. Your English level is the direct object. I raise your English level. That's my job. My job is not to do the opposite. What's the opposite? What's the opposite of to raise? Do hmm? you know? Well, listen. Let's say you're working in a castle. Your job. Let's go back 800 years. And you're working in, the, in a castle. And the Lord, el Señor del Castillo, the Lord is the owner of the castle. And you're working in the castle. And your job is to control the drawbridge. The drawbridge. Yeah. How do you say drawbridge in Spanish? Well, the bridge is un puente. And to draw, además de dibujar, también es sacar. O en este caso elevar. The drawbridge is a bridge that you control that goes up and down. Okay? And around the castle. You, you're living in a castle and working in a castle. And around the castle, there's a small river, a small creek. We call that the moat. Escrito moat. Okay? The moat with water. Now, in order to go into the castle, a bridge has to go down and the people can come in. And you are in charge of the drawbridge. That's your job. So, if you're standing at the drawbridge watching people and you see in the distance that the king or the lord of the castle, el señor, is coming with his escorts, su escolta, what do you do? Do you raise the drawbridge or do you lower the drawbridge? Well, if the king or the king or the lord is coming, you lower the drawbridge. You go down. You go... And then the lord and his court can cross the bridge and go into the castle. So you lower the drawbridge. Now, if the, after the king you see the bad guys coming, the villains, or villanos, from the other manner, well then you raise the drawbridge. So, to raise and to lower. To raise and to lower. Okay? High is alto. Low is bajo. A high voice, a low voice. But, añades ER con lower is Bajar. Pero es bajar activando. Porque no puedes decir en inglés, I'm going to lower. Vas a lower K. Oh, I'm going to lower uh, the bridge. I'm going to lower the bar. For example, in, in athletics, track and field, atletismo, one of the events, pruebas, las pruebas de atletismo es events, one of the events in at athletics or track and field is the high jump. Whew. Salto de altura. The high jump. The person starts and then jumps, usually 
backwards. And they jump over a bar. I think you call that in Spanish el listón. Okay? Now, if the high jumper clears the bar whew, without touching three t uh, the first time, well, they raise the bar. During a high jump event, they never lower the bar. Never. They raise the bar. Unless you're a member of the limbo team. El equipo de limbo, where you go under the bar. Okay? In that case, it's just the opposite. If you're a member of the high jump team, well, they always raise the bar. They never lower it, except in practice. But if you're a member of the limbo team, then they lower the bar. They, the people, the officials, okay, who are controlling this, they lower the bar. Okay? Have you ever been a member of a high jump team? Have you ever been a member of a, low, a limbo team? To raise and to lower. Okay? Now, if you want to travel from Spain to China, from Spain to China, there's several routes. I think there are four, by, by, excuse me, by ship. If you want to travel from Spain to China, there are four, maybe five, I'll explain, or six, maybe six. I'll explain in a moment. But definitely, sin lugar a dudas, he dicho definitely. Sin duda, definitely there are four routes. You can leave from Spain and go down Africa, go around the Cape of Good Hope, and around through Indonesia, and Singapore to China. That's the original route of the Portuguese 500 years ago. Vasco de Gama, these people, the Portuguese explorers went around El Cabo de Buena Esperanza, the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. That's one route. Another route is to follow the route of Magellan, Magellan Magallanes, and that's to sail down to Argentina around Tierra de Fuego or through uh, that area and go around the tip, La Punta, the tip of South America, okay? Cape Horn, Cabo de Hornos, Cape Horn. That's the second possible route. A third possible route is to go through, well, depending on what part of Spain you leave. If you leave Cadiz, you go through the Strait of Gibraltar into the Mediterranean Sea. You go to the Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula, and you go down the Suez Canal, into the Red Sea, the Canal de Suez, the Suez, Suez Canal, into the Red Sea, okay, around Somalia and Yemen, and then you go into the Indian Ocean, and you continue to Singapore and to China. That's the third route. The fourth route is you travel straight across, straight shoo, across the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean, and you go to Panama. You cross the Panama Canal, and then you enter the Pacific and you go to China. In the future, with global warming, calentamiento de la tierra, maybe we can use the northern routes over Canada or over Siberia. Who knows? Okay? But not yet, I think. Okay? But nevertheless, to get back, to get back to the subject, to get back to the subject, we're talking about raising and lowering. If you decide that you want to travel to China through the Panama Canal. Well, you go on a ship. The ship enters the canal into what we call a lock. Lock, como cerradura. In Spanish, I th you call it exclusa. And the engineer, el ingeniero, raises the level of the water. And then your ship continues into the next lock. Okay? And then they raise the water to the next. And then when you reach the top, they lower you into new locks. And they lower the water. Now for you, you're standing at the side of the ship looking over. You don't know. Well, it doesn't seem to you that, you, that the engineer is raising the level. For you, the level is rising. Otro verbo. Aquí no hay complemento directo. El nivel está subiendo. El agua está subiendo. Porque el ingeniero de turno ahí está subiéndolo. En, es, en español muchas veces utilizáis subir en ambos casos. Como verbo transitivo, con complemento directo. El ingeniero está subiéndolo y el agua está subiendo. Pero en inglés, different verbs. The engineer is raising the water. But for you, the impression is the water is rising. Okay. Okay? It's rising. 
Now, then when you reach the top, the engineer lowers the levels. Verbo transitivo. Lo está bajando. Está bajando el nivel. The engineer is lowering the level. But for you, the level, the water is going down. Aquí no hay verbo. The water is going down. And then you enter the Pacific Ocean, which isn't so Pacific, by the way. And you cross to China. Okay? Four ways for the moment. In the future, maybe six. We'll see. Okay. I'll be back with another class. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Regardless, independientemente de lo que sea, regardless, study. Okay? Promise me, study.